Let's uh, begin uh, the day, of course, with a look at the headlines this morning. And uh, Masa Bua is with us in the studio. She's a social commentator, yeah. of course, and uh, we'll be looking at the papers. Now, the punch. Reps, man, that's Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Falano, others reject Morocco's bid to join ECOWAS. The last time I checked, I thought Morocco was in the northern part of Africa, exactly. not West it's African it country. Is. Anyway, what it business does it have <laughs> coming to, but it's, it's your call. Okay, well, what, what are they saying? They say such a step will kill Nigeria's industries and cause job losses. And that it will flood our markets with well, all sorts of, um, you know, things imported mm -hmm. from Europe and all that. Well, it's, to me, I, I figure, like you just said, they have every right too, but if we're looking at the economic impact, mm. you know, then especially if we're trying to domesticate, you know, made in Nigeria goods and all that. Yeah, um, but, I, but, but yeah. Morocco, do they really have the right? I mean, ECOWAS is a regional. ECOWAS is a regional body. thing. I understand mm -hmm. what you're saying, For but the 16 or so West Africa, 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 Africa countries. countries. Yeah, Africa yeah Africa I know, and you're saying the North, um, North Africa. Africa. But, um, <laughs> well. Well, I don't know. know. Maybe they want to like globalize, like African unions mm. or something. Because really, me, uh, Mitra, I didn't understand yeah. well, why they were trying to. Come well, in. Uh, <laughs> many have said it's because of trade. Really, that oh. at the end of the day, it's not going to be a mutually beneficial alliance. That Morocco is going to benefit, and More that Europe will benefit as well. Yeah. Because yes. Nigeria has refused to sign a particular agreement with Europe, but mm. Morocco is a signatory of that same well, agreement. So it's of course open Nigeria is still gates. reconsidering really, yeah, its membership Europe. of the body now mm. that Morocco wants to join. Mm. Okay, get this one. President returns. To office 81 days after rat invasion okay i see you turn your face the most one of the most embarrassing stories of the year yes it? It's, i mean i mean it's as uh, if we have uh, so many embarrassing stories these days um, considering in the budget there was so much that was put towards refurbishment you know mm. and we all live in Nigeria. If you have an infestation, does it take 81 days? days. Having said that, the president can work from home, mm. which he has which been did. doing. Yeah. Mm. It's um, the service delivery that matters. Well, well, we thank God that the rats are... Uh, away because mm. the president even find mm. their way into the president's office in the first place. I think it was when he was now. away, which means that's, they were not, it's no excuse. We no all go away as well. Yes, yeah. that means there was no fumigation. And look in the and budget somehow, and look how much mm. was put towards fumigation. Hmm. All right. So, so. Okay, let's just go to the next paper now. Uh, and that's the nation. The biggest story on the front page is. PDP ex-governors vow to resist imposition of chair, uh, with the rider disquiet over plot to impose secondus. Mimiko, Imoke, others favor Southwest. Now, mm. another crisis is brewing mm. uh, in the PDP e because yeah. many thought uh, that the Southwest uh, had been seated the chairmanship position, but McCarthy said no. Now, um, ex-governors are saying they are plotting to impose secondus on them and they are going to resist. Uh, you're afraid for the party? Um, um, no, I like the stance if they're being honest, you know, because mm. it's supposed to be a new, a new ball game. Mm. Imposition is one of the things that has held our the democracy the back. back. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, but on the other hand, um, all the people coming out seem to be the same old people, mm. you know, so. Well, there are some um, fresh uh, faces there. Jimmy Agbaje like, like is one well, of them. Yes, but yes, people, well, well, yes. many so attacking everybody should have an, it should be an open field, like mm. we said before, and we will continue to say. So, so that it's going to be a new ball it. game. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. PDP. But where, where does the inner house wrangling stop? Uh -huh. Exactly. Get your house in order so point. that we can have a robust, you know, opposition. Democracy, Especially yeah, after telling yeah. us that uh, mm -hmm. the party has been refined and yet it seems it's still in the old lines. So and with with all of this, I mean, they're trying to attract people who, uh, for some reason, left the party before. Yes. People like Atiku and the rest and of Green. them. So yeah. with all, all of these internal wranglings, how do you you really get those people back? That's, it, a question. that's the big question, right. anyway. So, so the next story, and this seems to be a cherry news word to the proponents of, of the movement, anyway. Mm -hmm. Buhari backs local government autonomy. I'm sure mm -hmm. state governors will not be happy about that. It was represented at an event uh, by a, a member of the uh, Ecological Fund uh, team, and the representative said that President Muhammad Buhari is, is very happy and is going to back a local government autonomy because, of mm. course, the 30th government is exactly. the backbone of yeah. uh, the development of any country. Yes, and they're the closest to the people, mm -hmm. to the grassroots. grassroots. Mm -hmm. to, yeah, mm -hmm. so um, I, 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 I bet he would love it, but like you said, the state mm. governors, because they always want 
the chairman and all you know the people that make up the local government mm -hmm. in their they pockets. decide who yes gets they want them uh, in their local pockets. government chairmanship mm -hmm. all right the daily sun military officers land in jail over 339 million naira scam collude with bank officials to collect benefits of dead soldiers mm. Mm. that's a sad one because you know um we always feel the military is um a, a proper prim and proper organization mm. so mm. to speak so mm. when we hear that they as well at least there i know there are a few bad eggs in every um organization but yeah. when when they have gone as far as colluding with bank officials mm -hmm. then if the military isn't pure so mm -hmm. to speak then yeah, neither who is the, the, the bank exactly. officials exactly. Well, the well, banking that was, system mm, too are not entirely known. pure yes. uh, i mean when we talk about corruption in in the country it takes the collusion every time when you when you really a look deep banks. into it that yeah. the banks the banks are involved the, mm -hmm. yeah. this is All the only right, country i've seen whereby i'm sorry you you have mm. um, what are they called accountants go to yeah. your house Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that happen, yeah. not to my yeah. nose. Are you trying to tell us you don't have that much money? No, I don't. Uh, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Buhari should compensate supporters. Uh, Carlo is saying that. Do you have a problem with the word compensate? Compensate for uh, compensation's sake, or should they uh, really uh, deserve it? Which, which supporters are these? Yeah, well, the, the people, people who helped him to get into, into, yeah, into government. Un unfortunately, that's still the kind of politics that we practice. You understand, mm. people that were on your campaign trail, so yeah. to speak, mm. should be compensated. That is the kind of politics we practice. However, we complain, we complain about recurrent, which means we're still operating on a government that is too big. Mm. Now, the mm. last time I checked, the president came in and one of his promises was to minimize government, yeah. you know, bring down government, Prune bring down, down all the essays, yes. the PAs to the essays mm -hmm. and all that. Unfortunately, not everybody is going to be able to be Well, the president has promised yeah. that uh, he's going to open it up now, now that the, uh, the country is out of recession and, of course, uh, trying to... This not to out of recession, you keep saying <laughs> We are not feeling it. The president it, said it anyway. Okay. So. okay, let's go to the Vanguard newspaper. The same story on the military uh, alleged yeah. uh, looting is the major story. So we'll leave that and then mm. we'll go to another story. This is a, a about anti-corruption drive of the government. And then EFCC uh, gave uh, uh, some form of um, testimony in court of how Shamsuddin, the son of former FCT minister, mm. uh, you know, uh, was able to pay uh, for properties in Abuja, <coughs> Abuja with 1.1 billion naira. And he spent how ex FCT mm. minister's son <laughs> <laughs> paid 1.1 oh. billion naira for Abuja for properties. properties. That's according to EFCC. And that was in court, really. And, you know, just the son of the former FCT minister. The, the, the thing with FCT mm -hmm. right now, I was watching something the other day and um, it was pitch dark. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the street lamps are not working, mm -hmm. there's um, dirt everywhere, the roads are not, gone, uh, not done, mm -hmm. you know, there are potholes all over, and it's, it's, um, it's, uh, it's not as shiny as it as was it before. Be, especially oh, under yes. El Rufai, yeah, who exactly. tried mm -hmm. to bring back the Abuja mm -hmm. yes. master plan. Yes. I wonder what's happened to that to master that. plan it's, now. Um, we will find out if yet EFCC goes yeah. through with the investigation. Yeah. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. another story at, at top of uh, the paper. Chaos in Apapa, and uh, that's in Lagos, because mm -hmm. Lagos is the commercial center of the country, so mm -hmm. it's quite important. Uh, police military authorities permit madness on Oshodi Apapa mm -hmm. Expressway. Trucks, tankers, miscreants lock down Apapa. Ambody overwhelmed. Lagos CP ignores appeal. Fashola, Mechi, and concerned as residents groan. If uh, you're not in Lagos, trust me, you don't want to go to the Axis mm -hmm. at this time. Uh, of course, you know what is going on in Apapa. It, it, the thing has spread actually because it spread into you understand it's spread into Iporin now yeah. you, you gradually yeah. and and how it's it's obvious if if, if you like kind of feel the pulse mm. the governor is overwhelmed with with traffic mm -hmm. you know and it, it seems as if traffic is is coming back the amount of man hours lost especially going roads. into a papa yeah. i heard it takes five days for you to get your container mm. in. in, in and exactly. coming out Come is another, is a, is another problem. Week or so. uh, yes. Mm. And then the danger mm. to the residents, mm. it's.
something has and to be done. And it brings to mind again the need for the real system to be up and running. But Nigeria's health sector is arguably one of the most critical sectors that drive other sectors in the country because mm -hmm. only a healthy people uh, could bring about economic development. Yes, uh, well, regrettably, healthcare delivery in Nigeria leaves a lot to be desired as funding provided by government barely takes care of the many challenges in the sector. Now, from outbreaks of Lassa fever, monkeypox, mm. malaria, polio, high maternal and child mortality rate, mm. which, by the way, uh, Nigeria has the highest burden of, mm. and a very few cancer treatment centers and functioning, uh, <sighs> well, you know, health sector generally is lacking. Uh, mm. it, it, during his... Um, uh, budget layout of course uh, president buhari did mention uh, he talked about uh, the need for a bill on uh, the center for disease control uh, mm -hmm. to help check you know some of these um, many outbreaks that nigeria seems not to be able to uh, handle uh, omasa let, let look, look at the how far this administration has done health wise because really we can't look forward if we don't look back how would you say we have fared really um, in the health sector. Kind of not impressed, mm. especially if we're looking at a background whereby the president himself was out for about for 100, 100 days. days yeah. Yes, if, if 150, right? Mm -hmm. Or something like that, yes. Mm. And you would have thought that upon his return, that would have propelled him to make some radical changes in the health sector. Mm. Instead, <laughs> on the other hand, we're hearing that. Uh, they were not even uh, a, the a clinic working in Yes, the yes. Machine. clinic. Yes, mm. and 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 looking back since 2016, when he came in, we've like um, hovered around three to four percent mm, of the budget. Mm. Yeah. You know, this time we got uh, I think 340 four, four, yeah. billion out mm -hmm. of 8.62 trillion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, only 71 point one of that is for um, um, capital spending. Mm. The rest is 269 or so is recurrent. Mm. Now, according to um, what they call um, the Abuja Declaration, okay. yes. which was it, by yeah, two, mm. two, 2001, One. all the African leaders that attended pledged at least uh, was it 13 or 15 percent? 15 percent. 15 percent. Towards, towards and that's that at least. Mm. At least, mm. exactly. So you have countries like Malawi so who are doing 17, exactly. Botswana, and we're, we're, we're 3.9 yeah. percent. Yeah, uh, many it's, analysts it's, have said sense. that um, for any country to grow, really, you need a thriving health sector, exactly. a thriving education sector, and mm -hmm. of course, infra infrastructure has to be top notch. But there is Nigeria that is saying that it wants to diversify, wants to develop economically, but education is zero, and then health sector is struggling, uh, bedeviled mm -hmm. with strikes annually. Yes. So, mm -hmm. are we going to say that the government doesn't understand this simple uh, analysis, or it's just that it's overwhelmed, really? <laughs> we would be overwhelmed with everything. If you're mm. not ready to apply what it takes, you know, put policies in place and yeah. all that, don't, don't campaign or don't, you know, because the health sector in any country is a major one. Mm -hmm. Look how much noise was made about Obamacare. Yeah. Mm. You know, and and if you, for the average layman on the streets, mm. they're wondering, what's the big deal? Shebi, they said healthcare is free over mm. there. There has to be a system put uh, in place. You know, because the World Health Organization, because you were talking about being overwhelmed, mm. the health sector itself, for any country that's serious, has to have, I think, about six building blocks. You're talking about um, um, service delivery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the health mm -hmm. uh, workforce itself, yes. information, mm -hmm. medical supplies, mm -hmm. the facility, and then the finance. Even mm. ICT, mm. Exactly. which experts are saying, look, without ICT, City, Health, which is part I mean, of the information. Health can't go anywhere. Exactly. Yeah. True. Okay, you, you mentioned some um, um, disease, monkeypox, Lassa fever. Mm -hmm. I saw something that in Jigawa there's some disease. Mysterious disease, in Jigawa. which turned out to be uh, yeah. malaria. Can of course, imagine? in Kogi, the, the, there was a reported mysterious, mysterious outbreak well. of disease. Of too, disease. Which and we don't have information. Well, no, mm. just no information. You know? And then the money is not even marked for research every year. Uh, somehow, uh, during every outbreak, Nigeria somehow solely depends on WHO for solution. And so with this kind of budget, does it seem that uh, the country is serious enough uh, to take its position in Africa as this big giant, giant of Africa? It's, it's a giant of Africa. We hosted all those other countries. They're mm. given at least 
15, 16, 17 percent, mm. mm -hmm. and we're still on best four yeah. percent. Mm. It's 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 not going to work. Keep in mind, health health in in Nigeria. You know, like you said, disease control mm. very important. We also need um, a, a, a better environment. Mm. Yeah. Our environment is dirty. Mm -hmm. It's mm. filthy. Mm. And of course, if you're going to talk about health, you're talking about good roads, you're talking about water availability, mm. you're talking about accessibility, water, where, yes, you know, and availability where and the health um, centers mm. do exist anyway. Mm. And that, as, you rule. know, some, some healthcare workers, you know, complained recently about the dearth in equipment, prop, adequate equipment in the hospitals. Even if you had all these, you know, general hospitals and public health centers that we have, mm -hmm. and they're not well equipped, is as good as not having you know uh, one in the first place so well, well equipped is um, uh, not well equipped another, is, a, is an understatement i mean yeah, i've uh, been to the rural um uh, primary health care centers yes the specialist ones are okay but if we're talking pre preventive mm -hmm. first of all let's prevent which is mm -hmm. even more important and primary health centers have to be top notch really for any country to strike so that people will not depend on the private uh, practice uh, for their health anyway which let's give you some be. information at this time yeah. now and look at how far the allocation of health in the proposed 2018 budget will go in addressing mm -hmm. some of the issues in the sector but the allocation for, for health as contained in the budget we just talked the appropriation bill 2018 is 340.45 billion naira now the bulk of that sum 269.34 billion naira will go to recurrent expenditure that is payments of salaries and overheads now while 71.11 billion naira is to be spent on capital projects the world health organization recommends that 15 percent of a country's entire budget be dedicated to the health sector. Now, this means the allocation for health going by this recommendation should be about 1.3 trillion naira as opposed to the 340 billion naira for 2018. And you know, in addition to that, there's no guarantee that all of this 380 billion will even be released. Mm -hmm. Indeed, that's another not. issue. Anyway, <laughs> so now for years now, Nigeria has struggled to allocate just about 4 to 8% of its entire budget to health. There has been a steady but a slight increase in the allocation for the sector in the last three years. In 2016, the sector got 250.06 billion naira. In 2017, the sum was 308.46 billion naira and that was what was allocated for that time. And then the next year, the health sector uh, might get um, 340.45 billion naira, and that mm -hmm. is the 2018 uh, appropriation Budget. bill yes. uh, estimate uh, for the sector. Yes, and Nigeria has one of the lowest health budgets in Africa. Gambia, uh, Malawi, Swaziland, uh, South Africa, Angola, and Ethiopia spend more on health than Nigeria. Mm. Those are the facts right there mm -hmm. okay so look I, i'm not even interested in all of this mm -hmm. that we're reeling out <laughs> because look the, the monies that have been released in the past how have we accounted for them how have they reflected in the health sector in the first place and how troubling is it to even hear that over 70 percent of drugs in nigeria circulating in nigeria are fake, fake. yes okay. You know, that's, that's, that's scary. And then, I, I know you don't want to talk about the money, <laughs> but keep in mind, in 2017, the foreign exchange rate rubbished what seemed to be mm, more, but it rubbished it because the budget was based on um, uh, 195 yeah. or something, mm -hmm. and then it skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but like, like you said, Ngozi, I want to walk into somewhere. You know, mm. I have every right, every citizen has a right to affordable care, mm. health care. Mm. Healthcare is it is so complex because you're talking about it's fundamental. Mm. It's fundamental. Let, let me, Even let me, as a woman, let me make mm. a, a little analysis at this point. Uh, if we compare Nigeria to Rwanda, Rwanda mm -hmm. is very small, very tiny country mm -hmm. in Africa. Has about 12 million na million People? population or so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the basic universal basic health coverage there is even being studied by some countries in Europe, where the poorer the the citizen, the cheaper the, more, the yes. amount yes. he is going pay. to pay for for treatment there. Yes. and mm -hmm. they have access to top quality um, health um, delivery, healthcare yes. delivery in their country. But come down to Nigeria and then you remember the NHIS scandal and then the And there's a little scandal with the NHIS. NHIS yes. again, really. Yes. And then of course the revelation that Nigerians don't even benefit, just people in the in the civil service, just that few of them, the benefits. So yeah. the little money allocated, like she said earlier, how have they been spent? And yearly, 
what attention oh. have you been giving to public health, uh, health especially for the poor people of the country that can't afford uh, basic health? And that's why we're getting um, diseases like Disease, malaria, typhoid, being tagged as mysterious. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you know, and, and, and back to like what you said about the uh, NHS, mm -hmm. I read a study that said for the past, what, 12 years or so that they've been in existence, yeah. only one point. 5% yeah. of Nigerians. Mm. You know, it's good sometimes when you put these figures, figures. to it. But mm -hmm. what it basically means is I can't go in as an ordinary woman on the streets and mm. do my breast mammograms screening. And all of yes, that. mammograms. Mm. That's where information comes in. You know of how many women... And of women course, we had to take, um, you know, the vials of uh, monkeypox uh, to, to yeah, the Senegal. Uh, and we have the brightest mm. To brain. find out exactly mm. what it was. Mm. We have the brightest yeah. brain. Mm -hmm. The last time I traveled, I was with at least five, six doctors that mm. were going away. And uh, no vaccines mm. really for me basic diseases in the country. No. Mm. So basically, to answer your question, mm. we're not serious about health care. And I would okay. have expected much better of this What's present uh, administration. administration though. Omar Sambua, thank you so much uh, for uh, discussing this with us this morning on TVC thank Breakfast. You. <laughs> <laughs> to see you over Have and over again. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs> you, you too. too. <laughs> you too.